bright duty every student matters hello dear students welcome to another lecture in this class we are going to begin with chapter 1 of class 11 education nagaland board which is the concept of education now dear students the chapter is about education and that is the core of each and every one of our lives i am here in front of you because of education you are there because of education your parents have sent you to school because of education and you would want to go ahead in life to universities to you know to for the colleges because of getting education so education is basically one thread which ties us all and that is the most important component of our lives today without education you cannot expect anything to fall into place without education you cannot expect to learn you cannot expect to become wiser you cannot expect to become successful and on the top of it you cannot expect to become So education dear students is actually the most important as i told you component of the living society we say so in this chapter education we are going to learn how uh, you know education is such a new subject for the learner you know what happens is you must be wondering that how is it a new subject I mean, we have been learning and learning and growing since the play school we were sent to by our parents. But you know, understanding the nature of education, understanding the concept, understanding the how the famous psychologists have defined education is something very important. So in this chapter we are going to learn about the meaning of from of education and what significance does it hold for the learner specifically the young learner the various definitions of education what are the synonyms of education synonym means the words which have the same meaning as education what are the different concepts of literacy literacy is to be able to read and write so the narrow the narrow and the broader concept of literacy and education we are going to learn in detail so let us first learn what is the meaning of the word education now as i have already introduced to you education is very important rather i would say it is the most important tool that will help you to grow in you know today's scenario not only for us as teachers is education so important but for you as students also it holds a lot of values and vitality you know for teachers it is important because with education we get an increased understanding of our students what is the reason that we become teachers you know as educators we pledge we decide to work for the benefit of the students we swear to always uh, you know work in such a manner that the students are able to benefit the maximum out of so this understanding is derived only and only when an educator is educated when you are educated you are going to get that understanding you will be able to better uh, you know understand the students guide the students into the right direction and motivate and inspire them from time to time because every child who steps into the school has got multiple goals and desires attached to them when we are young we just think about the goals that our parents have set in mind for us right 
But it is when we start to grow, when we start to get knowledge, we understand what subject interests you. What is the subject you would want to, uh, you know, be better at? And that is when the goals change. So it is important for a teacher to be educated so that he or she is able to understand the students, guide the students, and motivate them. to achieve their goals with you and if the students you know are going to be able to learn well if the students are going to get the correct knowledge the correct values from their teachers obviously they would use everything to become a better person in their life right a child is going to learn a child is going to understand what the teacher has taught a child is going to bring it into use so that the future becomes brighter and better and that is the ultimate goal for each one of us not only for the student but for every human being we always aim to move ahead in life with respect to success and with respect to personal growth right so the word education has basically been derived from a latin word okay so the roots of the word education are from a latin word which means educative and what does it mean it means the process it means the act of teaching or training something so education means to teach somebody to train somebody in some direction to impart somebody with the desired knowledge and with the desired skill so that is why the term education is so important there are a few other educationists and you know psychologists who believe that education has originated from another latin word apart from its origin as educatum which means teaching or training they believe that there is another origin to the word education and that is educer so educer means to come out to be the leader of something how can you lead something or somebody when you yourself are educated when you know how smart and intelligent you are would you have the confidence would you have the power would you have the liberty to decide what is best for you and what not and it is with education that not only do we learn to think about ourselves but we also learn that with us live the society with us live the people and that society and people always go hand in hand so surviving alone is something which is not possible at all so living in accordance to what is suggestible to what is acceptable is what education teaches so all these meanings that we just learned about the term education they simply ed, uh, you know indicate towards the fact that education simply aims to bring out to groom to nurture the good qualities in a man so that he or she can prove to be the best person in every situation that is again something that we all aspire to do we want to shine in every circumstance we want to shine in every situation and we want to make the best use of every opportunity so that we are able to prove our capabilities and our efficiency so it is through education that you are able to seek what is inside you it is through education that you realize what all qualities are inside are hidden in you and can shine in the crowd so basically education you know uh teaches a person with the knowledge 
that is important that is desirable you know knowledge and information can be both there are some things that we know but we need not know you know even if we are not aware of that that is going to be perfectly fine with us but on the contrary there are a few things that we ought to know that are important for us to understand that are important for us to keep in our minds throughout so when you are educating somebody you basically make an attempt so as to instill in the other person the knowledge you know the understanding the interest the abilities the attitude the thinking the ideologies and the behavior which is acceptable and which is advisable because you understand that it is on the basis of this knowledge and this ideology and this skill and aptitude only that the child would further be able to get a wide knowledge in the different fields of math history geography language science and so on so only when the child has the basic you know information about what is to be understood and how the same can be retained in the mind can you expect the child to grow further in the different fields so it is through education that the child gets to understand things which are deep and complex in life okay because with education you become smart because with education you become wise and intelligent and now that you are wise and intelligent you have the capacity to understand things which have a deeper meaning in them you are in a position to untangle those things which are complex in nature you are able to understand the reason behind something and what is going to be the consequence what is going to be the effect of it. so basically if there is somebody who is very brilliant when it comes to writing you know with education that flair for writing is going to get better if there is somebody who can speak very well again with education you can become a master of poetry if there is somebody who is very good at mathematical calculation that person can broom their calculation and can become a pro in arithmetic and so on so basically with education you are able to garner for yourself different kinds of skills that can help you become a good writer that can help you become a good speaker that can help you become good at calculating that will enable and empower you with a good sketching or drawing or painting and so on so basically due to education a child is able to develop an interest towards the work you know that is around him as i told you without society we are incomplete so because of understanding because of being aware and because of being knowledgeable we are able to you know understand we are able to take an interest in our surroundings we are going to work in such a manner that we are working positively for the society for the democracy for the cooperative management that we are working with and for whatever group of people we are a part of so this understanding comes to you because of education so as an individual since you are a part of the society it is your responsibility to think from every perspective it is your responsibility to think about all the different aspects that affect you in one way or the other those decisions that are not only important in your life 
but which will be uh, beneficial for the society. And at the same time to make sure that whatever decisions you are taking, those decisions are free from whatever biasedness, you know, partiality that you might put into it, are free from superstitious beliefs, from those beliefs that we just keep on following blindly without a hint of logic and practicality in them. So basically, it is through education that you are going to get yourself out of the conventional as well as those traditional ideologies which revolve around superstition, which revolve around things which can be nullified at any level. Therefore, a child, when education is imparted to him, has to learn what are the qualities of the head of the organization, you know, what are the qualities that you have inside you, be it your brain or be it your heart. What are you skilled at and what are you good at in a sentimental manner. So this is what education ma makes you a master of. So what exactly is education? We have learned about the different aspects of education. Now we've learned about the different ways in which education proves to be beneficial to us. So what is education? Education means teaching. It means to guide somebody. It means to counsel somebody and to train somebody. Right? Your teachers are obviously imparting with imparting you with the knowledge. They are your mentors, they are your counselors, as well as your trainers with respect to everything. Education means to give instructions. Education means to give a proper and a formal schooling to people. And most importantly, education means to develop a child into a good human being. So this is what education aims at. This is what education aspires to achieve. Now, other than what we have discussed, there are a lot of other areas which can be covered under education. There can be so many things that you might be able to think at this point of time while we are talking about education and its field. You know, the teachers, the parents, the students, the people who own shops, who run businesses, the people in the army, the farmers, the dancers, everybody has a different way of interpreting, of understanding education and also everybody has a different viewpoint about education as well. For some people, going to school being a part of the formal education system is education. For the others, education is everything that goes on around you and that enables you to learn something. Right from the time you are born till the time you die. So everybody has a different perspective, has a different idea about education. There are some people who believe that education is the process through which you gain as much knowledge as you can. While for the others, more than gaining knowledge, education is about gaining the correct skills, gaining the correct attitude, having the correct behavior to them. Some people believe that education means to train the mind of a person in such a direction that you are able to extract the desired changes from them. You are able to get the changes that you need out of those people. And this shows that, you know, education is cannot be defined in just one manner. But it has got different definitions across the world and every definition is accepted. Because such is the scope of education, such is the meaning of education. 
it has got multiple forms in which you can understand the meaning of education if you are going to analyze if you are going to you know look into and interpret the different meanings of education you will be able to understand what actually education is so after having such a detailed discussion about education let us try and learn what is the origin of the word from where did the word education evolve how did it grow so basically we can understand how did education grow if we learn about the viewpoints about the ideologies about the opinions of the thinkers about the great philosophers about the educators because only after getting to know about their opinions and their ideologies would we be able to understand the concept of education better 